say open your Google Colab. So I can see. Just I open a new notebook. And now, first of all, I simply import. Import GE map packets. Okay, and then also uh, imported the art engine package. Import art engine. And then put here uh, ee dot authenticate. Simply click on here and then simply just generate a token. This token simply uh, put in the box. And then I use this email for that. And then continue. Let all. And then simply copy from here. Okay, then paste and enter it done and then put here the ee dot initialize okay so now i create my environment for art engine okay so now what can i do i simply import all of the code one by one suppose yeah so first of all okay just i simply copy from here Okay, copy. Okay, copy. So in this time for the Java script, we did not use any var keyword. Okay, simply remove that. Var is not need. Okay. So in this time I take a variable l and then import my image collection. Okay. Also you can see var is not need for the Python. So I take a variable image. In this variable, I just simply put here the ROI. What is the ROI? ROI is my boundary. So in this time, I also need to import the boundary. So how I can import the boundary? Very easy. Just click on here. And here you can see the ROI. Simply copy this ROI and paste in your Python code editor. So I paste in here. Okay. So in this time, ROI. ROI, this is my copy, this is my study area, Dhaka city boundary. And this is my L8, this is my image collection. And now, image, and in this time, in the, for the commenting, in the Python, we always use that the hash sign. So hash sign, identify about the comment. Okay, so hash sign, so I put here the hash. Hash is identify about the comment. Just put here the hash. Okay, so now here you can see uh, even it also shows some error. You can see error, also error, also error, also error. So for that, you can simply for the Python use at this sign. Okay, also use at this sign. Okay, every new line we put at this sign. This sign. I add the letter about that.
again suppose I just simply call the LA dot filter bounds with ROI at the filter data put here cloud cover less than one Filter get here up to then first January from two thousand twenty December thirty one. And put here the median. Use at the clip with ROI. So now it's okay. It is a visual work is yep. filament data. Sorry, okay, so filament data. So now. Okay, it's done. Okay, so simply click the run fast. It will be okay or not. You can check. Okay, it's done. Okay, there is no problem. So now I want to add the layer. Okay, so you can see map dot add layer. Suppose image. In this time, when I click the run, I can get the wrong. It already show about the wrong. Okay, because in this time I don't add any map. Okay, so in this time I add a map in here. Okay, so then this map. I need to add a layer so how i can add the map in this time i add the map from the g map package okay so i already imported the g map you can see g map already in, imported in my system so now i just simply take a variable suppose i put the variable name suppose uh, map okay and then g map map okay so basically now it added a map okay and finally this variable map i simply copy and paste here okay so now it will work so now click the run we check what happened okay you can see now add a map and in this map it add a layer but i also need to focus the center so for the focus the center simply use add the map dot uh, center object so then put add that object is that r1 Zoom level suppose uh, 10. Fill it to the run. In this time, it basically focus on our study area. Yes. So first time we can get this type of result from here. So now if you want, okay. So if you want, you can simply just use the same sim, uh, visualization. Simply copy on, click on here. Here you can see. Okay, just simply copy that. Suppose I show the red, green, and blue. Just simply copy. paste in the code editor simply paste in this time this is the variable name image version parameter all of those already set in here so just i simply copy the variable name and paste here okay now click the run so now let's check yeah you can see now we can get the result so basically this is the things how we can easily work with the google art engine python 
API. Okay, and it's very difficult as a first time who don't have any knowledge about the Google Earth engine or uh, or this is very in this time you can see when I write this function, this type of function, it there is no symbol. It shows as a this type of color, same color or same font. But in in this code editor, we can easily identify it's a function. We can get the color as a purple color. And if I mistake anything, then it will be not show as a purple color. But suppose I mistake any here in the in this code editor, any spelling or any uh, font I mistake. It's very difficult to find out what is the problem in this code. Okay. So in this time, we can so we can get the image look like that. So now we can easily use the image and different types of remote sensing work we can easily do. And we also add here the different types of Python, uh, suppose uh, different types of Python library. We can also add with that and also work with that. Okay. So I just rename it. Okay. So now here you can see we can get this type of image. Okay. Okay. And how we can easily export this image from here? Okay. So before that, I also talk about the another topic because exporting is the same when you want to any types of work exporting image is the same okay so i try to show you the another topic then at the same time show you the how you can easily export okay so now i talk about the another data set um, you also try to for the other images for the lens uh, 9 lens 7.1 uh, 